Won't you please donate $5 to the Obama re-election campaign? You know that the Obama wants to have dinner with you and meet you personally. All you have to do is donate $5 for your chance. No thank you. I have no desire to donate $5 to have dinner with the Obama. Why do you want to have dinner with the Obama? Well, it is really quite simple. I want more hope and change. More hope and change. What does that mean? What are you hoping for? Are the changes that you see now making you more happy? I believe in Obama. I believe in the hope and change. Please give $5 to the Obama. You might win a free dinner at the White House. I believe in Lady Gaga. I believe in global warming. I want a ban on circumcision and happy meals. Have you been paying any attention to the citizens of Greece? Their country is deep in debt and cannot repay the money they have borrowed. The International Monetary Fund will not loan them more money unless their government imposes more austerity. What is austerity? Austerity is when you have been receiving a social security check for $2,000 per month and now have been told that your check is going to be reduced to $1,200 per month. Your check is being reduced while the cost of a loaf of bread has doubled. Could this austerity happen to us in America? Yes, it is already happening now. But let's not get too far away from the subject at hand. Hope and change. What has changed for you that makes you want to re-elect Barack Hussein Obama? We have ended the Bush Wars. There is now more social justice for all. Ended the Bush Wars? Really? Are we not still fully engaged in Iraq? Are we not fully engaged with even more troops in Afghanistan? Are we not waging war on a third front in Libya? What about all of the drone missiles we fire into Pakistan? In Yemen? If you look at things objectively, wouldn't you say that we are in more wars under Obama? You are a right-wing nut job. We are not at war in Libya. How can you say that we are not at war with Libya? We are firing missiles and killing people. Is not that war? No. Obama has explained that we are not at war with Libya. Obama does not need permission from the Congress because we are only supporting NATO and the United Nations. Okay, I can tell that we have a different opinion on war. Let us discuss some of the changes that have taken place in the last two years. Yes, under the Obama millions of jobs have been saved or created. This is change that I can believe in. Let me see if I have this right. You believe that the Obama has created more jobs? Yes. Obama has created or saved two million jobs. Okay, I can tell that you and I have a different opinion on the unemployment situation. What about the huge debt that our country has? How should that be handled? Of course. We should definitely borrow two trillion more dollars this year so that we can pay the interest on the 14 trillion dollars we have already borrowed. Excuse me. If we already owe a load of interest on the 14 trillion dollars we have already borrowed, and right now we can't afford to make a payment, how will borrowing another two trillion dollars help our country? It is quite simple. Republicans and Tea Party people want to throw grandma off the cliff. They want to deny children their health care. Tea Party people are extremists. The evil Republicans must vote to borrow an additional two trillion dollars or else there will be Armageddon. I have an opinion that is different from yours. I think that Obama is the extremist. He has made more war. He has borrowed more money and put us deeper in debt. He is making life much harder for poor people and minorities through higher food and gas prices. The regulations his administration has administered are off the hook. You can't mow your lawn, burn a log in your fireplace, buy a happy meal, wash your car, buy an incandescent light bulb, own a pet, sell a pet, eat a hamburger or drink a soda. Your taxes are being raised. Your cities are losing their cops and teachers. Is this the hope and change you are so happy about? Well, yes. You see the Obama knows what is best for you. You must pay your fair share and comply with the laws which the Obama sets forth. 